Commuters driving through Grand Rapids on Highway U.S. Highway 2 have something new to look at. For this week's In Focus, Jamil Donath explains how art off the street is adding an extra splash of color to the community. Whether driving to work, home, or just passing through the community of Grand Rapids, three large eye-catching murals on the side of the McRossi Art Center building are adding a little color to those commuting on U.S. Highway 2. This building needed some murals. It's a public, you know, it's an art center and it's right along one of the main highways in Grand Rapids. This drive-by display is part of a grant project to create three murals representing a different region of the area. Deer River, Bovey, Coleraine, and Grand Rapids. I love the color and I love the splash. You really do get the voices of each community right next to each other so you can see the diversity but you can also see, you know, how they're coming together. While a major highway seems like an unlikely place to hang works of art with thousands upon thousands of vehicles driving through Grand Rapids on Highway US 2 every day, these murals are sure to get plenty of attention. They're going to get a lot of views. <laughs> Three artists were selected to design the murals. Each had 30 hours to complete their mural in one month, but they didn't do it alone. They had the help of students. There were a lot of people involved and it took a long time, but it happened and I think they look really great. That was a basketball player. Grand Rapids painter time. Sherry Elnashar and her students designed the Deer River mural incorporating the community's culture of fishing, hunting, sports and Ojibwe fancy dancers. All the images, they come together to form the big deer. Obviously that was their main focal point that they wanted to emphasize. The middle mural centers around the landscape of Grand Rapids with an homage to the famous actress and Grand Rapids native Judy Garland. Here in the form of a single color rainbow. This is our mural and it's colorful and it's black. Bovi Coleraine Youth Center Director Susan Jordal Bubots worked with the Grand Rapids sculptor Tom Page and his students who chose to depict the Iron Range's mining history. You have the, the big mining truck. Within the truck, the kids decided to put books. They ended up putting the names of the mines the Vermilion, the Masabi, and the Cayuna on it. The kids really enjoyed it, and they are so proud that it's going to be displayed here. And what's not to be proud of when your artwork is on display for all those whizzing by to see, even if only for a few seconds. For this week's In Focus, Jamil Doneth, Lakeland News. Wow, some cool, cool work there. The official mural dedication is tomorrow. That ceremony is from 4 until 6 in the evening. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.